This is Baron the Bear, and uh, this is, <coughs> excuse me, as a first impressions video. Uh, if you're interested in playing this game, uh, this is what you can expect starting out. Uh, this is one of my lower level uh, secondary accounts that I've been trying to level up to for a farm account. Uh, basically, you know, you get a base and uh, you see the things popped up here. You get recruits, you get a free recruit every uh you get three of them every day as when uh, when there's when the reset time uh, resets all your quest daily quest reset so I got that it takes about five minutes to be able to do that again and you can look at the top right it says the time says 17 hours and 36 minutes that's to the next reset so you know that once that timer goes down to zero all your daily quest would be reset and you see the little present there that's where the daily quests are where i hit that and it shows me what i've completed so far my daily rewards so i tap each chest i got about ten thousand each of those twenty thousand of those i haven't got any of that but it shows you what you get uh if you get that one thirty thousand fifty thousand and the final one it gives you order fragments for your light rec recruitment every 10 of those you can fuse to get uh an, an, a recruitment ticket letter to where you can recruit better officers now you go down here you can see all the quests for the day you need to gather food uh gather in the beginning you're only going to be able to gather food and gather oil now you're going to have to be level 15 to get the to gather steel and a level 20 to do the gathering minerals uh, until level 15 it can be a little hard to get all of the rewards to get the last chest but uh, it's it's workable now I, you know I got reinforcements I want to click that that will I send you know troops to a, another base to get reinforced and I'll get that 10 you know and then a resource that says if I send some resources I'll get another 10 uh, troop promotion, it's uh, tech troop recruitment, that's a building that I haven't built yet, so you wouldn't be able to get that. But the troop promotion, the good thing about this game is you have uh, troop promotion to where you have your lower tiered troops that you were training that you don't need anymore because you get higher level, you can actually promote them to the next higher level so that you don't you don't have to, you know, dis discard any of your troops. You can just keep upgrading them. So you need about 250 of any unit to get that reward. So I go hit the 250. It'll take two hours to get that reward. I go back and look at the daily rewards. City Ruin Exploration. Now every day you get two rallies, and that's you rally with your with your alliance and uh, uh, attack, and uh, you get everyone will get rewards. You know the, the the more stronger of a force that you can get everyone to join up with, the better the rewards would be. You get that two times a day, and then you get explore. You can go two times to the refuge, res rescue, academy action, and capital capture. So a total of six, you know, different times you can get, you can attack this and, and get rewards. And it shows you what you get. Now I've already explored this level. I can't go to the next yet until I train better troops. But I can explore two times right now. So instead of having to attack it twice, I just hit once and I'm done with it. So basically, if you got that in all three of them, you only have to hit each one once, and you, you do all three, you get all the rewards. Uh, after that, if you look at, you, know, you do all your quests, you go over here to the little, the glowing icon on the bottom left, the three icons there, the one on the top that's glowing, click that. 
shows you the events going on. Uh, they have a, an update right now for two new new officers. You know, uh, growth fund. If you purchased, you know, a pack, I'll explain more of that in the in the, the beginner's guide. Uh, they have a, a current event, four day event where you have to do things. You got to train. You gotta you gotta kill zombies to get rewards. Uh, spend gold. Train troops and uh, use speed ups, and you get these rewards. And you get these uh, these crow feathers, which you can cash in for officer fragments to get certain officers. Golden gift from making purchases. Daily gift. Not finished. Weekend resource sale that you know you can buy certain resources for cheaper discount. Zombie uprising. That's uh, it's an alliance event, and then also tell you like Tyrant of Doom it starts in three days, and seventeen hours, and thirty-one minutes. So you know when the next event's going to come, which makes it you know nice to, to plan ahead. Strongest commander. That's uh that's like uh, that's like a two-week. Yeah, it's like every two weeks it goes through a seven-day event cycle. So that's that's you know keeps keeps things pretty active. There's a lot to do in this game. You know you're not going to get bored. And uh, I'll show you the troop. There's the troop. There's your resources right here. Now you don't have to hit. You know press and get each one. You can shake it, and they're all you know they they all get looted. So that's kind of interesting. I never played a game where you had to shake your phone to loot your resources. I'll go through and get another recruit. The free recruits, you don't get really too good of it, you know, officers. All right. I'll show the officers so you get an idea of how, how, how it works. Now, you get two of each. All right, and the recent update for Warfare, you can unlock and get a total of six. But they're unlocked by level. So by Commander level 30, you'll be able to have all six of the bottom ones active at one time. Uh, these are gathering, these are gathering generals right here for Director, Strategy, Warfare. Now when you send out troops to farm you want to click on to these guys and activate them until you land on the tiles and once you're on the tiles you can swap out you can remove say you want to build something you go to construction I only have one construction but there's another one that's a purple one the purple officers are the best the blue are the second best and the green is really basically just fodder officers that you can sell off to get currency that you can purchase the other officers and I'll show you that in the beginner's guide there's the other construction officer down there I don't have him unlocked yet. I need he's at 410 I need six more to be able to unlock him and the right off the bat I give a construction speed increase about five percent right now she gives about you know, four, four and a quarter percent boost. So then, you know, you click on, you want to upgrade something. So you go and upgrade. I'm going to upgrade a training ground. All right, it's one hour and eight minutes. Now, it's better when you click that hand and that your alliance will help you. So then you go back to, to, your, to your officers. Now, you know, she had that four and a quarter, so that gave me a, a little bit of an increase to the speed time for the build. So now I want to do some research. Well, I click her off, and I go and I add the research officer. It's a 10, um, 10 almost 10 and a half percent increase. And I do have the, the blue officer, which is at five and a half. So I put them two together. That's about 
a 16% increase to my research right off the bat with just using those two generals. So then I go back, click on research. Let's do, let's do oil gather. One hour and 50, one hour and 52 minutes. Now I'll click back and show you what's going to happen if, if, if I didn't have those officers. It's one hour and 52 minutes right now. All right, let's go back. Go to the officers. Remove. Now go back. Oil gather. Now it's at two minutes and eight eight. It's at two hours and eight minutes. So it cut some time off. Now your higher research is going to be you know. 15 hours a day, you know, and you know that 15 16 percent decrease, you know, uh, really makes a big difference. So, and you just cycle your officers for everything you want to do, you know. I'll go back and appoint the research. Now, your director is basically, basically going to be for your research, your construction. And your gathering. That's the main focus of the director. The strategy is going to be max fleet units. That's going to increase your march sizes so you can use more troops and do more damage. It's good for attacking monsters. Recruitment speed for training purposes. Max wounded increases your hospital capacity. So if you go offline, you click, put these in, in, in control. Uh, if you get hit, you'll have more wounded troops. You won't lose as many troops. All right, so max fleet warfare. You have all troops defense and hit points. That means, you know, defending or attacking. Attacking armies, attacking hit points. The guy with the panda mask on. That means it's only going to increase your, your attacking troops. So if you go out and attack someone, that's going to increase. There's some right down here. This one here is defending armor and attacking hit points. That means if you put him in, uh, if you get attacked, it gives you a defense boost. So, you know, while you're online and you're attacking, you would want the guy with the pan. But when you're offline and you're worried about someone might attack you, you would use the other guy and switch over for, for defense boost. So, but... Now, as far as the generals and officers goes, you can go here, the distribution center, exchange store. Now, you can sell off officers you don't like, that you're not going to use. The green ones, I sell them because they're just, you can get the blue. I mean, the blue is better than the green. So, you can sell, you know, it's one, one will be 130. All four, 520. All right, I'll go back to buy. Now, I usually don't buy the purple ones because it's 3,000, right? But the blue ones, it's only 1,000. Now, what I'll do is I'll cycle back onto my, my generals, my officers, and I'll look. Okay, who do I want to upgrade? I want to upgrade the, the research guy, all right? But I don't, you can't buy him yet. 512, okay, so if I get seven more fragments, I can get him to an increased a small portion of the next star it'll take probably about i think six uh upgrades to get a full star once you get a, a unlock a full star it'll open up another skill that you can add i'll select this here's your skills you get the, the first one you know off off the bat the second one you get there i got a tax rate transport tax you get that when you when you get the second star filled so I, I clicked and I want to forget it you can level it up problem though is though, if you wanted to delete it and forget it you're gonna lose all that experience and that so I usually keep them down to level one unless I'm really for sure I want to use that skill permanently on that officer so I forget it confirm you can relearn it you know you're not gonna lose that so I go down here and click the, the plus, and it'll show me. 
what I do have active to use in, in, as far as directors, officers can use. Farming expert, food output, okay? Could do that. Gathering, steel gathering, transport, could do that. The gathering would be us for, uh, you know, your gathering officer. So I click learn that and, you know, I'll, I'll learn that again. You get three stars, you can get a third skill active on time. So that's the officers. Now you can go back to that and you look at the officer skills. This is what you have for each of the three sections. You direct your strategy, warfare. And they give you skills according to, you know, you know, for warfare, you know, basically you fight and they get, they'll give you fighting skills. Strategies will give you, since uh, it's, it's mainly for troop, and, and it would give you monster attack speed, mobility, recovery, which will uh, speed up your your mobility points so you can attack more monsters. Okay, uh, that's all pretty much the basics as far as that. There's your quest. You know, it, it tells you what upgrade oil refinery to level 3, get the reward. There's your bag. Gives you, you know, all, all your items. If you want to buy something, you click shop. You know, it shows you all the prices in gold. You go to your mail. Shows you, you know, anything with with a little gift that means you got a reward. Now you can either click it and get the reward, or you can go and instead of clicking it, you can just hit the top right, click that three dot icon. On the very bottom, hit the hit the bottom left letter the paper with the folded tab on the corner. It'll select them all, and then you hit the, the, the icon in the bottom middle, which is to open it. And then to open up all your mail and, uh, and get you all of the rewards without having to open every single one. Once that's done, let's go to, you know, I showed you the mail. You still got one to open up. And now the little one on the mail is gone. Alliance. Alliance technology. I can donate 15 times, which is max. I'll hit donate. Max. That's all done. Okay, it shows you Alliance help. You know, you help everyone. Alliance members. Shows you a list of all your members. Manage Alliance. Shows you alliance relationships, you're friendly, all the alliance you're, you're friendly with. Shows you who, if you have any enemies, who you're, you're union with. The United Front and KO37. Okay, that's done. Now we go to the world map. This is what your base will look like at level level 11. It's what it look like at level 19, at 16. Okay, and right down here, on the very bottom right, there's a radar, green circling radar thing. You click that, and you can select... If you're looking for a farm, you can select what level you want to look for. For oil, steel, minerals, gold. For monsters. Now, I can challenge up to level 15. I want to go, maybe go and do 13. Hit go. Click on to enemy battle power, 58,000. Let's see if I can take them out. 66,000, let's see if we go up with another one. 14, should be able to do 14. Hit go. Tap on the monster, hit attack, 72,000. Should be able to take them out. You got presets right here, but I don't have any of them set up. Hit attack. Now it's pretty, you know, free to play. 
as far as when you're out farming on tiles and someone attacks you on your tile, you actually get wounded troops. Your troops will not die. The only way your troops will die in this game is if you go out and attack somebody and you lose them by losing the battle or, 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 or losing some when you win or when you, you get attacked in your base and you go over your hospital capacity. You know what? What once your hospital's filled, any other troops that die, that get, you know, that get injured will will instantly die. So that's the only way you lose troops. You don't lose troops by being on a tile. Only if your hospitals are filled. You know. So, you know, that's a good, really rare, in my opinion, these types of games for them to, you know, uh, make it make it easy for you to recover troops okay I killed him I think let's go back no I didn't kill him I'll be dang all right see I failed click on the fail you can watch the video you can see how you failed uh, you can speed it up a little bit okay he's hitting my main melee troops first this is my shredder he's hitting right now. That's the the heaviest melee. He's taking him down pretty good. He's over 42%, 39. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, now he's into my middle range troops. They get more damaged. Now he's at the, my end. I got snipers left. He was at 5%, so I was almost able to take him down. So now I go back to my base and I re recover my troops. Let's take 20, 31. Your allies can help you. I have a gift from an ally for them completing their task. Gives me Z coins, which I can buy officer fragments. Then I can go back and I can do training. Now it goes up in tiers, you know, level one, level two, level three, all the way to level ten. Right now, level four is my highest, and that's my snipers, which is the range. So I've been trying to train those to get a stronger army, so I can kill higher level monsters. And do some more. It take three hours. Now, if I wanted to, I could go over to my officers. Go to manage. Go to strategy. Remove those. Put in my recruit. I don't have a blue one. I do have a green one right now. It's best to keep your greens until you get the blue. And I go and I'll train some shredders. Uh, yeah, here's the shredders. Now they're they're good because uh, they're like the strongest. If you can look, see on the very t top, the statistics. Get your battle power, hit points, defense. Now hit points. He's got 4,400. That's a lot. That's a lot of hit points. So they're going to take a lot of damage. So I've been training those because they're going to be on the front line. They'll help you kill higher level monsters because the monsters will be attacking them while the rest of your troops and your range are taking taking the monsters down. So I got those running. Okay. I got the you know building time, 53 minutes. I need to do another research. Let's go back. Let's get free recruit. I'm done with all the free recruits. The free recruits. I got fuse now. I can fuse a general, an officer. I mean, I got fuse. I can actually unlock him now. So I hit fuse. Now he's unlocked. He's a defending officer. So I can use him if I go offline and then I'm worried about being attacked. I can I can appoint him and remove uh, the panda mask guy that's only for attacking. I can star up. 
All right, lower a lean, lower a line. She can star up. I'll show you how you do it now. You know, you see the little star on the, on the second star. It's only gets filled up a little bit. I hit star up. Okay, she's at 8-4 fragment. So I can actually star her, star her up twice. I'll hit the first one. Gives a little increase in my skills. Is that a, you see the recruitment speed increase 0.56 for the next one. Star fill it up a little bit more on for the second star. I'll star up again. Confirm. She's at half half a star now. So if I get eight more fragments, I should be able to fill her up and she'll unlock her second skill. Let's go back to officers. Manage resource skin on the Recruitment. Okay, I did the recruitment. I'll remove those because if you want to kill more monsters, you want to get max fleet. And I wanted to go do another research. So I go back to the officers. Okay, I have both both the officers already in. So I got both research officers, so I can go back and do some more research. Let's do the oil gather. One, one hour and 52 minutes. Now remember, when I had them removed, it was two hours and eight minutes. So it actually increased about six, it gave me a decrease of 16 minutes for just a small research. Click out of that. Hit the hand thing, it lets my alliance help me. And that's pretty much it as far as first impressions. Diligence and courage, I just completed something on that. Day three, train, uh, I mean, train uh, tier rank four troops. I, I trained them, get reward. I got six crow feather. I'll show you the crow feather real quick, and that'll be at the end of the video. Go to the mail, go to the bag. Crow feathers exchange. And there it gives me certain generals I can buy fragments. All right, the purple ones are going to be the highest price. I might, let's see about butterfly fragments. You get 15. For every 15, I get one fragment. And get a total of... 20 of her. So if I wanted to get two of, of her fragments, I'd have to wait until I had 30 crow feathers. Well, that's the basics of the game. And like I said, this is a really well-made kingdom type of game. You know, if you're looking for a new kingdom game to play and you haven't tried Age of Z, this is a like basically a reskin of War and Order. Uh, it's a really good company. Develop a the development team is really good in this game. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a post. Thanks.